Hello and welcome to the Soul Collect channel where we collect buckets of salt from the tears of our enemies. Today we are going over the deck tech, simple deck tech of a rough Bolton deck I have made with the new cards from Dust Till Dawn. The reason why it's only a deck tech and no gameplay is because a lot of these cards, or a few of these cards, uh, are bugged in Talishar, especially the Piste de Resistance, Lumina Lance. This doesn't work, and I think it's going to be a blowout card whenever it's played. Um, this deck is built around the beautiful Great Library of Solana which increases your intellect if you have two yellow cards in your pit zone by the end of your turn. Anybody can get that effect, opponent and you, as well as uh, anyone has the ability to, to discard two cards on their turn, two yellow cards to destroy the Great Library of Solana. So, against most decks, yellow is not a favorite color. Against other Boltons and uh, perhaps a new prism, yellow will be a favorite color. So just bear that in mind. Um, let's start with the equipment area. Beaming Blade. The reason why I have Beaming Blade in here is, and it could be the wrong choice, is because it is a resource sink. Everything we're doing needs to put two yellows into our pit zone. One yellow will go into the Beaming Blade, and one yellow will go into something else like Iron Song versus or Take Flight or V the Vanguard. So we need two yellows each turn. Um, and so that means we need things that cost. Crown of Providence. Yeah, enough said. This card's just so good. Uh, good generic piece. Iron Song versus, like I said, it's a Man Sink. It blocks two uh, and then one, and it gives you the Carnage token. So with that two yellows, you can spend one on Take Flight, one on Iron Song versus. And the one being played. So the math works out pretty good. Uh, and it's worth trying out. I think the Brave Forge Bracers will give you a bonus on your, only on your Lumina turns. This can give you a bonus every turn. As long as you don't block with it the second time early on. Uh, still nothing better out there than these boots. You're not going to go with uh, the Valiant Dynamos because very rarely are you going to be able to attack twice with your Beaming Blade, even with a good Lumina turn. Maybe with a Solana, Library of Solana into Lumina, you might have the resources, but otherwise, no. Soulbound Resolve, I don't think it's better than Tunic, to be honest, but I want to try it out uh, and see how it works. Uh, Tunic gives you that single resource which is a bit of a nonbo if you want to play take flight into being played and keep great library of solana around or you just don't use tunic and you save for something else that's also a possibility uh the block two and then one is pretty good uh the charge factor i mean it's all pretty good but i think tunic is just so it's just unbeatable uh, in, in the slot or it's just not this doesn't yeah i, I think there's too many things that tunic can do mm that help you out. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I, I am always open to the fact that I could be wrong. Then we'll go into the deck. Great Library of Solania. I just explained this card. Um, it's a one-of, so building a deck around it, you might think that's kind of silly. Uh, but then you've got three beacons of victory. So essentially, you have four opportunities to draw this card. And that's pretty good, I feel. So I think no matter what you're getting in the, in the first quarter of your deck, um, statistically speaking, um, so that's pretty solid. And it'll come on with a go again and hopefully a pitch and, and whatever. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I've added a new card here. Or a card from the new set here. Uh, these also require yellows. So not only are you building your deck with yellows for Library Solana, a lot of the cards that I have in the deck also require yellows. So it's not like, okay, I didn't see Library Solana, my yellows are just underpowered uh, attacks or underpowered pitch cards. So 
they still have their uses. Stream provider is a good one because it's a zero cost for four. Uh, and then with Bolton's ability, it has go again. This, I think, is one of the better cards uh, for Bolton's attack suite. Bolt of Courage is just a very good on hit. Um, draw a card. You know what it does. Engulfing Light again, building up that soul. I'm not sure if I need to build up that soul based on the experience I've had so far. The soul is pretty easy to manage. Um, but Engulfing Light is just a, a good a good attack to do that. This card I'm unsure of. Um, against decks that, that play attack actions, this is great. Against decks that don't play attack actions, this is pretty bad. Uh, it's just a worse version of Engulfing Light or Bolting Blade. So maybe this is a sideboard card, um, but otherwise they think that, that it's a must block because so it goes into Light the Way, into Being Blade, into uh, Bolt of Courage, Engulfing Light, which have the charge active. This is pretty cool. Spirit of War, another new card. Um, I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's majestic worthy. I would rather have uh, be, Being Bravado than Spirit of War. And this is a, a good go wide card, but you need to play it after V the Vanguard, so you've already missed one thing at one one uh one courage token. Zero for three blocks of three, maybe, I don't know. Take flight, just solid, very, very solid. Um helps with Library Solana uh, for the extra pitch. So yes, and yellows of course as well. V of Valor, I'm taking it out. I'm going to take it out. I've, the, the games I've tested, uh, the limited test I have is that I just don't have, I, I just use them to go into Seoul. Uh, maybe I'll try them a couple more games and, and just really try to work around it and put it in, see how it works. Because the, the effect is very interesting. It's it's a charge and a, and a pump on a stick. And that is scary. So if I'm, if I'm attacking with with anything, right? So I'm attacking with my sword for zero with one card in hand. Uh, pop this. Uh, it goes to seven with a charge. So it goes to, yeah, it's from zero to seven. Do they block with two cards? Do they block with zero cards? Am I bluffing? It's very interesting. So that dynamic is quite cool. Uh, as well as a, a Bolt of Courage, this is probably even better because it's coming in for Vanilla 3. If this hits and I use this, or if they don't block and I use this, it comes in for 6. I draw a card, I can go again, I can swing with the sword. So that's, that's an 11 point swing potentially. Um, so they need to think about overblocking. And if they overblock, maybe I just don't use it. Um, so it puts them in a bit of a pickle. I don't, maybe it's just this deck construction with Great Library of Solana that doesn't work in and it might work in a different style deck. These Bannerets are so good. Like I was a little bit, I always knew they were good but I didn't realize how good they are. This is what keeps your soul going, especially the other, the Banneret of Gallantry because you don't need to use uh, your soul to get the go again. So that first quicken, uh, that first attack you play, whether it's a Ball of Courage, to go from Light, whatever it is, it gets the go again without you needing to look for a buff. And then Banner of Courage helps with the the buff for Ball of Courage cards, Engulfing Light cards, to give you the go again if, if you need it from Bolton. So these two are really, really good um, and very good additions to the team. Speaking of victory, yeah, what we're using it for is simply to get Library of Solana as quickly as possible. This is not a Lumen Ascension deck because of the, the weapon. Deck's power comes from outgrinding the players by having six card hands, five card hands each turn. Bolton Blade, yellow, hits for three blocks, uh, hits for seven blocks for three, pops, uh, heralds, um, pitches to yellow to play. So, pretty good, pretty good. Celestial Cataclysm, uh, again, the, the style of play might require us to not use this as much as pitch it or or something like that but what I found out excuse me that was a yawn what I found out is our uh, our, our souls is taken care of pretty well so 
playing this is not generally that harmful. Loom Ascension, yeah, it's a yellow. It, it turns your sword into something a bit more powerful. Five to six. Um, potentially two times. So, yeah. And this, I, like I said, I've yet to try it out, but it just looks so good. It just looks like a blur each time. And because our souls are pretty, pretty healthy... Um, I mean, you can only play this from turn three or four onwards, uh, based on the soul requirements. Uh, but when you do play it, I imagine it's going to be pretty damn good. Uh, getting a on-hit draw, getting a plus two. I mean, this go-again thing, it doesn't really matter because you're going to do the same thing from your soul with Bolton. So you're only looking at the top two here. Uh, and with a quicken token from a banneret, uh, you don't you don't even need to worry about the third one. So yeah, that's just such a good card. I'm gonna look look to pick up three of these as soon as I can. Moving on to Prayer of Bellona. Uh, this is also a requirement. Uh, uh, this also causes the deck to require yellow cards because half of the power of this is to draw that yellow and charge something. Um, ideally, you're drawing into the yellow and you're charging a banner it. And that doesn't put you down a card as most charges do. So that's pretty solid. If you don't hit the yellow, you still get the plus two effect, but paying one to plus two is kind of below par. It's not kind of, it is below par. Um, but having the draw and the charge is very nice um, if you can get that. So what I'm playing, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen yellows, which puts it up to almost forty cards. That's fourteen yellows here. So that's exactly forty cards. That's sixty-six percent of the deck. I think that's the bare minimum. I would be happier with seventy-five percent of the deck. So what I might do is, is exchange some of these cards here uh, for yellows, maybe the engulfing lights. Uh, the good thing about the three, though, the three power attack is that it, if blocked with an attack action, it goes to four, and you're leaking through that damage and getting some uh, on-hit effects. So, but 66 percent is kind of kind of low. Uh, attack reaction, always good uh, if you charge a stone credit courage token. So it doesn't require you to charge like courageous steel hand. Um, it does need to be a light warrior attack, so it doesn't work on, on celestial cataclysm. But I think it works on everything else. Light warrior attack, yep. So it should work on everything else apart from celestial cataclysm. Um, and if you have charge, you get the bonus of creating a courage token. So when you look at your one attack cards like take flight I think it's just take flight then for the second resource because you're probably pitching yellow you can play this instead of pitching one to this uh, and then playing that you, you you save it for this so and then you get the courage token courage tokens are, are no joke if you have a, a way to make courage tokens quite frequently which we do with this bad boy this bad boy uh, iron song versus then your attacks come in for plus one, and that's pretty damn good. Even even the weapon going from five to six, and then potentially seven if it's blocked by an attack action, is pretty good. Soul Shield, uh, yellow, goes into Soul. It's just a very good card uh, with versatility in this deck. Uh, Spirit of Irenia. Irenia. Uh, again, I don't know if this is worth it because this is not a Lumina deck. I don't really need to worry about going off of the Lumina. So, still, maybe. It, I mean, before, in the Bolton decks I played, it worked very well with V the Vanguard and Lumina together. But in this instance, I don't know if we'll ever need that. I'll keep it in for now. See how that goes. V the Vanguard, just a very good card. And if you're playing five or six card hands from uh, Library, then, uh, yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. Um... The only thing that this lacks now is a tunic counter to give you that full range. 
instead of pitching resources. Um, if we have library out anyways, we want to pitch. We want to pitch. So what we're looking at is we're pitching one card to play you, uh, putting one in soul, playing one. So via the vanguard, for four, attacking with one of these guys up here for four, and then beaming blade for six. And you draw back up to five. I guess that's what we're looking at. And if you have another card in Arsenal, then you'll be attacking with that as well. So, not bad, not bad. Four, four, six, fourteen, eighteen. You look at that, baby. That's a five card hand, so actually, that's not too good. It's not too good. Uh, I might need to rethink that strategy about Feed the Vanguard. Um, in my sideboard, as you can see, it is totally not complete yet. Uh, Command and Conquer, Popper, and this is a very good card. Sink Below, uh, good defensive card, very efficient. Uh, Null Rune for Icelander. I might bring in a couple Null Runes for the Kano matchup, but I just don't see that enough. Oasis for Spites. Um, and then I think I'll put in some, some yellows. I'm not entirely sure what. We could have a quick look. Um, it might be worth putting in this guy because we're not going the Lumen Ascension route. That's actually a good idea. Is it a light warrior? No, it's just a warrior weapon. Um, this, I feel, is just beautiful, but a fancy version of Guardian's uh, rare buckler. And yeah, I'm not going to play a single saber or a single um, hatchet. This is kind of cool. It's better than the, than the majestic axe I feel from the previous previous sets. Somewhere, uh, this bad boy here, um, because you don't need to buff it to get some sort of bonus out of it. You're normally coming in and doing two damage with a block of one hand. So, but for three resources, it's still bad. Not good, not good. Charging impact. Uh, this might be worth putting in instead of the... Instead of... Light the way. I didn't put... What, uh, I didn't put this majestic in. If yellow card is charged this way, whenever an attack action card hits, this combat chain, you may put an attack action card from your graveyard on the top of your deck. You know what? This is a very good sideboard card. So I can the sideboard. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this card. So going back to this card. Maybe it's a, it's a damage leaker. It's a good damage leaker. Uh, if I could pump it up. It's also pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think there are better cards like Express Lightning than this. Uh, what else? Now we're looking. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think this needs to go to a more aggressive deck, which I think I'll make when I get rid of. I try this library slider deck for for a couple a couple online games to show you guys, and then I'll move on to something a bit more aggressive uh, and not focused around library of soul lana. Bolt of Courages, yeah, I think I could do, like I said, the yellows instead of the reds. Um, this this one I th don't think is that good. This one, I think this is a good sideboard, actually, because of when we're playing against, against aggressive decks. Um, I think it's pretty solid. This only works with, if you're playing Soulbound Resolve, and only if it's a second card you're blocking with. So if once you block with Soulbound Resolve uh, and a card, you block with 2 plus 3 plus Prevent 1, so you're blocking for 6, and then the next card you block with gets a plus 1 bonus. Um, it's actually, yeah, against aggressive decks, perhaps it's worth putting it on the sideboard. Um, 
maybe even better than having in sync blows, I think. I don't know, I don't know. And I want tunic actually. I want tunic in here as an option. Sideboard. Yeah, so that's looking like the deck. I feel this card saves me from having to put in a null rune. It gives me no way to attack. Is it even worth it? Or do I just go more aggressive with this card? Um, I don't know. Uh, this gives me late game longevity. This is just good. Aggro matchup, aggro matchup, aggro matchup. Is the one life gain worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's better in a, in a dedicated Lumina deck where you're going to gain three life off a Lumina turn. I think this is pretty good in combination with this, like I said, for two cards you're blocking for six, uh, blocking for five, preventing that extra one. And then the next card blocks for four, uh, most frequently, most often. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's a 10 damage block off of two cards. Is that right? Off of three cards, sorry. So because you're blocking with one, charging one, and then you're blocking with, your, with, with, the, with the card in the next combat chain. So maybe it's not that good. So that's, that's a 10 damage block, whereas if I just block with three cards, I'm blocking for nine. But I'm not getting any, anything in soul. So maybe that's, that's the point. It helps you to build up the soul. I'm looking at here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth trying, I think. Worth experimenting. I do feel like Bolton has been given some really nice cards. The Banneret cards for me are are some... Uh, some really nice additions. The Lumina Lance is the must-have addition, and then these being bravados. So the different tiers, right? So among your like, uh, uh, among your your commons and rares, I think being bravado is one of the better cards. Among your majestics, the Bannerets are good, uh, very good, and Lumina Lance is the best. Um, Will this work in a Library of Solana deck? I don't know, but I'll give it a shot as soon as Telishar has gotten rid of the bugs. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and uh, have a good one. Boop.